Hi, this is how CloudFormation works introduction to tutorial part four, change sets equal dry run. So this builds on top of part one, two, and three. So let's jump right into it. This video tutorial is based on top of uh, a blog tutorial entitled a simple introduction to AWS CloudFormation part four, change sets equal dry run mode. So what are uh, change sets? Change sets is a feature from Amazon AWS CloudFormation that allows you to preview what you're about to actually do to your infrastructure before you update that stack, before you actually hit that scary red button. Uh, who likes hitting big scary red buttons? No. Uh, so this is actually a very powerful ability. Uh, it, it comes in other tools too. Terraform has Terraform plan. Uh, Puppet has a dry run mode. And these are very powerful. This is a very powerful ability to just not have to, to, to know what you're about to do before you do it. Very powerful ability. So we're gonna go through that and just jump right into it. So the first thing here is we're gonna create a stack. There we go. So that creates a stack. And while that stack is uh, being created, I'm gonna go back and look at the code so you guys can see what we're gonna do. So this is based again on tutorials uh, on part one and two and three. And what I did there was uh, there, we created a CloudFormation template with a single instance. And then we created another CloudFormation template based on that single instance CloudFormation template where we added this extra Route 53 record. So we're gonna use these example templates to demonstrate uh, CloudFormation change sets. So let's check on the stack and see uh, its progress. It's still being created. So we wait for that right there. It should only take a minute or so. While that's being created, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the next command. So the next command we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a change set. So this is the command create a change set is AWS CloudFormation, create change set, stack name example, template body. Now the new template body is the instance and route 53 record. We're changing this. So we're adding the route 53 record with its own params file and then change set name. So let's go check on the status of the stack before we run this command. There it's created, it's been created. So let's now go ahead and run this command. So that should, that creates a change set. So now, where, where is the change set? <laughs> okay, you go click on the line item, and then right here, the change sets tab. So if you click on that, you can see now change set one, that's what we named it. If you click on this now, you can see the change set right here. And this is pretty cool right here, look at this. It says add DNS record, AWS Route 53 record. Uh, and um, and this is really cool because uh, you could basically pass this around to your coworkers. So let's say you made some updates to your CloudFormation templates and you, you're updating the stack and you want a review of it. You can basically say, hey, can you go check this out and review my changes, right? And, and you could literally pass this around. That's pretty powerful. Uh, if you click on this details tab, it shows you the exact same thing that it's adding a DNS record here in this JSON form. Uh, and in the tutorial, I also run through um, how to inspect this uh, with the CLI. So I'm gonna do it for completeness. So you'll notice here that the, um, the output, I'm filtering this with JQ and I'm looking only at the changes property, but this output is the exact same thing as what's in here on the CloudFormation uh, console. All right, so uh, now let's actually go execute this change set. So how do we do that? We go and we can either click the button right there in the GUI and do it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run the command. So that's AWS CloudFormation execute change set, stack name example, change set name, change set dash one. So let's go and see what happens now to this change set. Let's go ahead and go back, click stack detail or stacks here. And you click change sets again. And look, the stack was updated with change set one at and timestamp. So the update is actually happening right now. Look at that. It's adding that record 53, uh, that raw 53 record set. That's pretty cool, I think, all right? So let's summarize what we did. We created a stack with a single instance. We created a change set with a Route 53 record. We described that change set uh, and we looked at that change set in the also the AWS uh, GUI. And we also looked at the CLI. Then we executed that change set and it's updating right now. So this uh, video tutorial was based on a series. There's four of them right here and all the links are gonna be provided here in this uh, Google Slides. And I'll link to this document in the description below. I've hoped you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. 
If you like video content like this, be sure to like it and encourage more content like this. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for other videos, feel free to comment below. And if you have any DevOps needs, check out Bolt Ops and subscribe to watch more content like this. Thanks, guys.